dearly beloved loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ because the Lord Jesus cares about every single thing that concerns you he is speaking with you about each and everything he isn't a god who plainly gives us promises he will give us counsel guidance and teach us what to do walking with Lord Jesus Christ is an excellent experience hold his hand and walk with him daily give him about an hour's time in the morning sit at his feet speak with him won't a child sit on the mother's lap look at her face and answer as she speaks prayer is that kind of an experience he is a good father to us you can speak with him open heartedly and when you speak like that he will lead you beautifully even today he gives you this word and what he says is proverbs chapter 16 and verse 20 he who heeds the word wisely will find good my son my daughter if you conduct matters wisely they will end well isn't some good being hindered a promotion victory or blessing some matter is being hindered something is causing problems isn't it affecting the faith are you thinking that this good is being hindered the lord says my son my daughter if you conduct your matters wisely you will see good the lord looks at you and says this if you are wondering what does wisdom mean it is wit and keen intelligence we need wit and wisdom in each and every matter to run a family we need wisdom to run a business we need the appropriate wisdom if you need to do a particular work only if you have wisdom can you keep advancing in it if you need to serve the lord god through your ministry you need wisdom for it nothing can be done without wisdom you need wit do you have the shrewdness have you seen people say all this do you have wit and wisdom have you seen them saying this then we should wonder if we have it we need to do things with wisdom who gives that to us and which to can we buy it give some wisdom for this amount of money if we ask like this won't they say you can get this in my store it is free we can get it from the lord lord give me wisdom if i have to do anything when the lord gives me plans for the ministry you should do all this you should declare the gospel you should send missionaries you need to fulfill these things for me i will go to the lord and say lord i don't have the wisdom for all this give me wisdom i should do it like this how should i do it give me wisdom give me keen intelligence and wisdom when i pray for it the lord will give me wit and wisdom relating to that particular thing then i will be able to complete it that is the most important thing so now consider my ministry they will call me to preach to small children they will invite me to preach to the youth teenagers they will call me to speak to those in between these two age groups they will invite me to preach to the older people they will call me to speak to families and even to the servants of god can i give the same sermon to everyone if it is for small children i should give an appropriate sermon if it is for youth i should give an appropriate sermon if it is for families i should give an appropriate sermon isn't there a difference what do i need for that i need wisdom but if i say no i know the sermon i will take 3 to 7 points and preach but there is no use because of it sir if it should touch people and be a blessing to them you need wit and wisdom a divine wisdom where will it come from it will come from heaven then i should go into the presence of the lord and say lord i need your wisdom and guidance to do this ministry and tell them your word through the holy spirit the lord god will bring his wisdom to us he will lead us clearly similarly there is a problem in your family you don't know what to do or how to solve it the actions carried out without wit and wisdom will break your family you shouldn't do that we shouldn't do so right a particular person had family problems problems between the husband and wife they came and told me about it i said let's talk to the husband the lord will work in some way but they said no he will never come he will not agree the problem has become big when i asked what is such a great problem that cannot be solved i filed a police complaint did you file a police complaint yes i filed a complaint saying that my husband is torturing me like this so there is an ego problem will he come back 
I asked her why did you do this she said my family members prompted me I did it unwisely now how will I face my husband and speak to him did you see a matter done without wisdom split up a family that should have been together my husband is a very good man who loves me a lot if i speak to him he will love me but she is unable to speak with him now a matter done without wisdom this is how the actions of many done without wisdom and wit in their business ministry and family matters have caused much damage so we should ask the lord god dear lord give me wisdom and wit give me your wisdom You should ask the Lord God for it, okay? That is a great blessing. Shall we pray now? Dear Lord, I need this wisdom and wit. Give me the wisdom to conduct my matters rightly in a way that doesn't affect anyone and be victorious in each and everything. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. <laughs>